Shalom, Yasharala. I want to start out by giving infinite honors to Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shah. I want to give a double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation, honor, and greetings to the sincere brother pushing his truth across the four winds. Uh, I'm going to do this sit down about uh, the house of David, um, the hopeful elect, and um, the contrast between the house of David and these niggas. These hot, the house of Saul, man. Um, it was all set up through the spirit by Yahweh Bashima was shot, man, that these two houses would be at enmity with each other towards the end, you know. The uh, testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. And um, in our day and time, man, the same thing that happened amongst the house of Saul and the house of David, ancient time past, is happening right now between the house of David and the house of Saul. So when you see these niggas coming up against the truth um, that are biologically Israelites, I mean, it's prophecy being fulfilled, man. It was ordained from the beginning. So I'm gonna start off with um, 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, okay? Now even after Saul was put to death, you know, those that had allegiance to him was still coming against uh, the men of the Lord, the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And um, when you look amongst uh, the body today, amongst Yasharala today, man, the men of the Lord, man, the hopeful elect, man, is getting it in, man. Uh, brothers rocking out in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai and going hard, man. Um, preferably the men of GMS, man. The house of David, man. Brothers are um, doing umpteen videos a week. Uh, brothers, eat, Some brothers even going out on the highways more than once a week. You know, brothers are um, amongst the brotherhood. Uh, uh, the brotherhood is strong, you know. Brothers are, are fellowshipping with each other day in and day out. You know, just getting back into that old ancient Israelite spirit. And then you look at these niggas, uh, they waxing working worse and worse, man. Coming up with damnable heresies, uh, rejecting the name of the Mashiach and, and our power. I mean, they they waxing worse and worse, lying, stealing, uh, just doing uh, shameable, unspeakable, unbottomable things. Saying this is okay. To sodomize, I mean, and saying it's okay according to the scriptures, you know? All right, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 10. Then came the word of the Most High to Samuel, saying, It repenteth me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he has turned back from following me. Okay? And the way Saul turned back from following the Most High, man, he wanted to do his own thing. Um, he wasn't about order, you know? And when you look in our day and time, that's what you see. These foul outs and bug outs, they 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 don't they don't want they want to do things the way they want to do it. They hate order. They hate submitting under older, older brothers. You know, some of them like putting women above men. They subscribe to this worldly philosophy and and the truth and this order. They they don't like it. So they try to remix it and do their own thing. Okay? And have not performed my commandments. They don't like um submitting to the elders and obeying the decrees that the elders put over the body. That'd be a lot of problem with the majority of these niggas and that was the problem with the house of Saul back then. And they agreed, Samuel, and he cried unto the Most High all night. Okay? You know, and Samuel was a man of the Lord. And it was, you know, Samuel liked the Saul. Samuel liked Saul, Okay? But Samuel was a spiritual man, man. He know it was business. This is our business. This is not personal. So Sam, Samuel did what he had to do and told the man the most, I ain't dealing with your wicked ass no more. He's dealing with David, man, a man after his own heart. All right? This is 2 Samuel 16 and 5. And when, when King David came to Behurim, behold, this came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei. The son of Jerah, he came first and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and all the servants of David. 
and all the people and the mighty men were on his right and on his left. All right. And thus says Shimon when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man and thou man of Bilal. All right. So David, a man after the most high his own heart, you know, one of the few men throughout all scripture that the most high himself boasted of. This guy was calling him a bloody man, calling him a wicked man, calling him a murderer, you know? And the only people David ever killed with the exception of Uriah, you know, the, the, the creation is subject to the vanity. He went off like all men do. He uh, basically killed the wicked, man. When David went out to fight the wicked, he would go acts of the Lord, he'll go inquire of the Lord before he went to war. So anything he did, he didn't do on his own, on, on his on his own uh, thing. He would inquire the Lord and, and ask the Lord to give him a blessing before whatever he did. He went and got counsel of the Lord for whatever he went and did. Okay? So you got to look at the house of Saul. Why was Saul mad at King David? King David never crossed Saul, stole from Saul. King David submitted to Saul, okay? King David never defrauded Saul or transgressed against Saul. It's, it's like Cain and Abel. The Most High rejected uh, Saul. The Most High, like I just read in the previous scripture, he said the Most High was mad at Saul for not keeping his commandments, all right? It was nothing King David did. And like Cain got mad at Abel because Abel came with a sincere, genuine sacrifice, Paul, Saul was mad at David just for being a, a sincere, genuine man of the Lord. Genuine man of the Lord. It, it was all about jealousy and enmity. So the house of Saul, they rocked out into the their head. Um, they fought, rocked out into the spirit that Saul was. And they don't even know why they mad at the house of David. It's because they niggas. And it was ordained for, from the beginning for niggas to uh, come against the men of the Lord. Okay. And thus says Shimon when he cursed, "Come out, come out, bloody man, and thou man of Belial." Called him a, called him a devil. Okay. The Most High have returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul. All right, the house of Saul, the blood that came upon the house of Saul, it was for the house of Saul reaping the wickedness they had sown. They was chased David throughout. All of Yasharala trying to kill him and, they, and David didn't commit a crime, man. That's that's a bloody man. That's a murderer. All right. He wasn't killing him according to the commandments. He, he was doing it because he was envious. He was a wicked demon like these niggas are in our day and time. And who's or who stands thou his reign. They are mad because they're not in the power seat. It's all about envy. These niggas want to be where the men of GMS are right now. I mean, they see the fruit coming throughout the planet. They're envious of that. Okay? They see the most high dealing with us. They're envious of that. Okay? Lord willing, we of the elect. And the most high delivered the kingdom into the to Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief because thou art a bloody man. And we know that didn't happen. We know Absalom he got put to death, and the kingdom was put back in King David's hand. It was really never taken from King David, man. I know. With the, with the Most High then, no man could take a son. And nobody could take that from, the, from King David but the Most High. All right? So the house of Saul have, have always been here, man. They have always came against the man of the Lord, man. Let me get another scripture to uh, attest to that. This is uh, Titus, the first chapter. I'm going to start at uh, the 10th verse. All right. This is Titus, 1 and 10. For there are a manly, there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. All right. In our day and time, it's nothing but uh, deceivers and vain janglers amongst us. And it was niggas that was once amongst the brotherhood, them niggas in Chicago, all right? They are 
unruly vain talkers and deceivers like the scripture attests to. I mean, they come change the doctrine that America uh, isn't Babylon anymore. The 12 tribe sign uh, isn't accurate anymore. All right. These are wicked men of the house of Saul. Okay. Especially they of the circumcision. These are, are, are sons of Yasharala, bi biologically wise, okay? But they're not of the house of David. They're of the house of Saul. So they are sons of Bilal, man, okay? Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. And the way you subvert whole houses is, man, first and foremost, by teaching wicked wine of doctrine, okay? When you take the name away, all right? The only way we can reach the Father is through the Son. So you have to have that name right, okay? When you, when you teach things like it's okay to commit sodomy on women and you got people following you and believing that bullshit. Sodomy is sodomy, man. The Most High uh, plainly killed five city, cities, destroyed five cities for sodomy, all right? Be it you do it on a, uh, a woman or a man, even if you do it on a woman, it's sodomy, all right? The anal cavity was created for an exit, not an entrance, okay? Teaching things they are not for filthy Lucas say, all right? The house of Saul, these niggas with these 501c3 charters, man, they're they, they dealing for, for filthy Lucas sake, man. And they have to teach what the devil permits them to teach, all right? They have to teach how the devil tells them to teach, all right? They're not telling, teaching sound doctrine and with all fear and trembling and, and all sincerity true and truth okay so we can get the fuck out of here and we enforce our laws and statutes on the planet they're doing it to fill their own belly man and these guys were here in ancient times of old niggas the house of Saul one of them one of them themselves even a prophet of their own said the Cretans are always lying and I um I looked upon that that guy his name was uh he was a a Greek philosopher from the philosopher from the island of Crete that Paul was quoting his name was Empatinoid uh Empatritus something like that you know I just scanned over it but yeah that's who Paul was quoting in there and it, and it was a bunch of niggas that lived like the 6th century on the island of Crete, Crete in the Mediterranean. And he was saying among, about them niggas himself, and he was a nigga. He was saying that the Christians are liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. Okay? And these niggas is the house of, Hall, house of Saul, man. You know? These niggas is the house of Saul. Man, we had a nigga that was amongst us, man. He fall out. He want the power seat. He He's Addressing the men of the Lord as real niggas, telling niggas to meet him up on the street. I guess he want to fight or, or shoot it out. I mean, these niggas is beasts, man. No different than the two third. This this guy Louisiana fried chicken, man. He he's a fucking beast. This guy is not rocking out in the spirit. Man, this niggas of the house of Saul. He's envious of of of, of the brotherhood. Okay. Go to uh, get another chapter, and the Most High man, he's gonna do do away with you niggas, man. He's gonna do away with you niggas, and he and we're in that day. The leaves on the fig tree of timber, tender and summer is not nigh. nigh. We're in that day where you guys are gonna reap what you sow. Your day of reckoning is upon you. It's upon all humanity, not just you. Those that do good and those that do wicked. We're in the day of judgment and prophecy being fulfilled. Fuck the house of Saul. Okay? All right, this is Jude. All right? I'm going to start at the fourth verse. For there were certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. You see? This was ordained through the spirit by Yahweh Bashim I was shot. All right? That niggas would creep in, man, and receive their condemnation. They're being condemned. 
But they would, but before they get their judgment and die their grievous death, this was th the things that they were going to do. Ungodly men turning the grace of our must our our power into lasciviousness. These are the type of things these guys are doing, man. Remixing the doctrine, just just flowing off the top of their head, and, and just uh, doing things according to their belly. All right. And denying the only, uh, the only heavenly Father, our power and our Mashiach Yahweh Shai the Anointed. When you say the names done away with, we don't have to use the name. We don't know the name, man. You denying our great King and our great power, man. Okay. When you switch up the doc the doctrine, you're denying our great King and our great power. All right. And your mouth's going to be stopped. You're going to be put down. The most honest not dealing with you niggas, man. All right? This is 2 Peter, 2nd chapter, the first verse. But there were false prophets also among the people. You see? Even as there shall be false, prof false teachers among you who probably shall bring in damnable heresies. That's the house of Saul, man. That's these niggas that we hear from times of old. Even the nine, the Yahweh Bashem Shah that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. It's these niggas, man, these fallouts, these bug outs, these off camps, off camps. You got the house of Saul, you got the house of David, man. You got men closing up the breaches there, bring it, build up a spiritual house, and you got niggas trying to tear it down. All right? You got one side waxing worse and worse, and you got one side getting stronger and stronger. All set up through the spirit, man. All right? Now, this is the vibration the house of David is rocking out of, man. Fear and trembling, truth and sincerity. Doing it all for righteousness sake, man. Doing it all so we could uh, get in the power seat, man, and subdue the nations in righteousness. All right? This is 2 Samuel 5 and 9. Okay? So David dwelt in the fort and called the city of David. And David built around, built a Salaki, and David built round about from Milo and inward. And David went on and grew great. And the Most High of hosts was with them. The Most High is with us, man. The hopeful elect. Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect, man. The Most High, as like the Most High was with King David, he's with his uh his servants, man. The Most High is not a respecter of persons. Everything he did for King David, he's gonna do for his servants, man. The Most High lifted King David up. King David is pro is is quoted. It's saying that the Most High has never left the righteous and forsaken of their seed begging bread, man. All right? This is Amos 9, verse 11. Okay? In that day I will raise up the tabernacle, tabernacle of David that is fallen. And the tabernacle of David fell uh, during the time of Jeroboam and Rehoboam, man. When niggas went, when, when, after Solomon went off, man. Okay? Niggas started going off, then the other nations started subduing us. And and and, and when they subdued subdued us, man, they sent us forth throughout all all the um territories under the earth, man. During the house of David, the it was the northern tribe, the southern tribe. We was one nation, man. We were all together. All the tribes were together in unity, rocking under one spirit, man. And close up the breaches thereof. The breaches is in in, in that in this spiritual house we bring it, we building it up, man. It was tore down, man. We closing it up, man. We lifting up that sand, that standard. We're preaching sound doctrine towards the uh, four corners of the earth. Okay. We're being we're being that inside, man. To the nations, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. That's what we doing, rocking out in that old ancient Israelite spirit. Okay. And this is a spiritual house we talk about, man. 
and then the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven, we want to go in Jerusalem with all our slaves and make them build it up physically. All right. In fact, let me get that about the spiritual house. Uh, you know, it's all about clarity, enlightenment, and edification. This is First Peter chapter two, verse five. All right. All right, I'm going to start at verse 4. To whom coming as unto a living stone. We are lively stones. This is talking about the men of the Lord, the house of David. Disallowed indeed of men. All right, we are hated by men. We are, cur we are cursed and, and attacked by men. But chosen of the most high and precious. The elect is the apple of the most high's eye, man. Okay? The most high loves his precious elect, man. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. This spiritual house we're building is the tabernacles of David, closing up the breaches thereof, all right? Preaching sound doctrine, Te being a light to the Gentiles, teaching the Gentiles who they are, man, all right? Teaching them the do's and don'ts of the law, man. Teach them that our great king is coming back, man, to deliver a remnant of them, man. Tell them that America is going to be destroyed. Martial law is coming. The chip is coming, man. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al is prophecy fulfilled. All right, and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai the Anointed. Wherefore also is contained in the Scripture: Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, our great King, elect, precious. And their beloved on him, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. The house of David. Die we die. Salakia. Salakia. I think you pronounce it. Die we die. All right? Salakia, if I'm wrong, you know, you got to be perfect in this thing. Okay? But yes, those are, and preferably the men of GMS. All right. And Great Millstone isn't a gang or anything. It's just that amongst the men of Great Millstone, that's where you're going to find sound doctrine. So when you find sound doctrine, that's where you're going to find the bulk of the elect. All right. And there's not too many people out here teaching the doctrine that the men of GMS have, man. All right. Because you got wicked niggas. You got niggas in the house of Saul, Saul amongst the men of GMS. All right. You got niggas that's going to be offering brothers up to death. All right, this is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my own heart. All right? King David was a man after the Most High's own heart. So that means the house of David is a bunch of 144,000 men after the Most High's own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it, and it shall come to pass when you be multiplied and increase in the land. In those days, said the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the coming of the Lord. Neither shall it come, come to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall they be done anymore. And at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai. To Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more in the imagination of their evil heart. See, even in that day, even in that day, during the kingdom of heaven, when that day, when that comes upon us, the house of Saul going to be a thing of the past, man, because they're going to be in their right spirit, man. They're going to be rocking according to righteousness, according to Hebrew, the eighth chapter, man. In Jeremiah 31 and 31, when the Most High put his laws in our inward parts. But until then, in this present time, man, beware of these niggas from the house of Saul, man. They're amongst us, man. They're in camps too, man. Beware of these niggas, man. And have a self analysis of yourself to make sure you're not rocking out, rocking out the spirit of, of Saul, man. So with that, um, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by Hashem Rakar Kodash, uh, salutation 
double, um, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the house of David, the precious elect, the hopeful elect, uh, Shalom, Kwam Yasharala.